join along for another day in the life as an airline pilot. All right, walk around is complete, and as you can tell, it is dark and early. The 4.15 a.m. show this morning, so 3 a.m. wake up. I live really close to the airport, so that's about as good as you can get. Of uh, your commuter, obviously, you would have had to come in on your day off yesterday, stay the night, and then start this morning. But that's why I like living in base and not commuting. If you are going to be an airline pilot, I suggest choose an airline that has a base that you want to live so you can just wake up and drive to work every day instead of having that commute. That's my tip of the day. First leg is over to Cincinnati. Let's go. All right, we just landed in Cincinnati. It was overcast 300 and getting some icing on the way in. Shot the ILS 36 right. Super cold, raining about 30, 33, 34 degrees. Straight out of here, back to Orlando, back to warmer Florida. Let's go. All right, we landed in Orlando. Done for the day, that was my leg. Got the RNAV in the 3-6 left. No wind, super calm, nice, smooth landing. And it's 10.30 a.m., so I have the rest of the day here in Orlando. And it's a 24-hour layover, so look forward to maybe hanging out with my buddy Jake, hitting the gym, going for a run, and maybe taking a nap, because pretty tired it was a super early start so Let's see at the hotel all right we made it made it to the hotel pretty sweet little kitchen nice room here we are downtown orlando i might take a quick nap and then i'm gonna go for a run there's like a big lake over here the weather's super nice i think i have four miles on the plan so yeah i need to shower take a quick nap and then we're gonna get after it all right, nap is done. It is 3.30, so that goes against what I usually like to do. Um, I fly a red eye or if I start super early, I usually won't take a nap, so I can just, you know, get back on normal sleep schedule. Anyway, on the run plan today, hit up Lake Eola, four miles of zone two, and then I think shoulders and arms, so we're gonna hit the hotel gym. Yeah, I'm feeling like complete lazy bum. And I also need to get some food after this, but we are right downtown Orlando, so we should have some good options after the run. It'll be fun to get out, get out in the sun. All right, the Christmas spirit is still very live here in downtown Orlando. Check this out, lights everywhere. All right, run done, four miles, 7.56 average pace. Uh, nice and easy zone two work. Try to keep that heart rate below 160. Beautiful day here in Orlando. It's like 58 degrees, sunny, feels good. All right, pre-workout, pretty late here, 4.30. Not doing any stim, no caffeine, but as usual, Endo pump helps with some blood flow and just a better pump on the on the lift and some creatine. Five grams a day, and that's it. And now we're gonna hit the gym. Shoulders and arms. I just checked out the gym. Pretty solid. I got dumbbells up to 75, so that is a plus with the hotel gym. So let's get after it. Working out while on a work trip is not always easy, but you know we're getting it in, in the hotel gym. Starting off with shoulder press, four sets of eight, lateral raises, three sets of 12, reverse flies, three sets of 12, shrug, three sets of 10, close grip bench, three sets of 10, and hammer curls with a rope, three sets of 10. All right, workout complete. That was a good one, shoulders and arms. And now it's time to shower up and then go find some food. So I'll see you at the restaurant. We'll see what we can find. All right, the great, Greek is where we're going. What's cool is on the work app, FC View, is like where we have our schedules. At the bottom, there's a spot where people can put their recommendations for, you know, food and all sorts of stuff for that hotel location. And this, the Great Greek, was one of those recommendations that somebody put on there. So apparently it's a pretty good spot. We're gonna check it out. I love Greek food, so let's see how it is. All right, we're going big. I haven't eaten all day, so I wanna eat a lot here. 
I don't know if I can finish this all, but we got two different wraps, the Euro with some fries, and then another Euro-like salad wrap. Look at this. Oh my God. All right. Greek spot was good. We're in Orlando. Definitely recommend for like a nice lunch spot. And that was a lot of food, but like I said, it's probably gonna be my only meal of the day. Other than that, I just had some protein bars, so probably got in like almost 2,000 calories there. And uh, yeah, usually I like to do three meals, at least two big meals, and then some snacks, you know, throughout the day in between those meals. But I don't know, today was just all jacked up with the super early start and the nap. So we just had one massive meal, tried to get in a lot of protein there. And yeah, it was good. Now I'm gonna go walk over to Lake Yola and check out these lights at night. Breakfast, it is 8.56 and I passed out so early last night. Actually, let me check, let me check how many hours of sleep I got. 10 hours and 13 minutes, hour and 55 of deep sleep, two hours and 28 of REM, 15 minutes of wake time. That's a lot of sleep, but I needed it. There's breakfast downstairs, apparently it's pretty good. This is a pretty nice hotel, so I'm sure it's got some good options. So, let's see what they got. All right, for breakfast, we're going pretty, pretty same as home here. We got some eggs, a bagel, and then add a little bit of cereal into the mix. layover is done got my bags packed we are heading off to cleveland one leg today this trip three days and four legs so super easy two yesterday one today and one early leg tomorrow done at like 8 30 in the morning so pretty easy three day van is coming in nine minutes so about to head down and then off to cleveland see you at the plane all right pre-flight done we are in orlando nice and sunny and warm here we are heading off to Cleveland. It's probably pretty cold out there, so it's my captain's leg, so I'll be pilot monitoring on this one, handling the radios, and I'm flying the leg back tomorrow morning, back to Tampa. So, see you in Cleveland. All right, guys, I'm learning how to do the uh, the printer. If you look inside there, you can see how it goes up and in. Yeah. I mean, here, on the, yes. yeah, there we go. Now, it has to feed through there and then come up through here. All right. And I'm gonna laugh and giggle. All right. And you enjoy. See you. Voila, we did it. All right, first time doing the uh, printer paper all by myself. I'm a big boy now. All right, one and done, we are in Cleveland. We're done for the day, to the hotel, we're gonna get some sushi, and then we go for a nice long run, eight miles. All right, made it to the hotel in Cleveland. It's the same short stay I stayed at the last time when I went over to Pete's, but he's out of town, so this is what it is. We're only here for 13 hours, so really just need a bed, some food, and that's it, so. PJ's hibachi and sushi. No, 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 <laughs> it's closed, it's closed. All right, so the sushi spot's closed, but across the street we have a Perkins. I've never been to a Perkins. Captain's making the call and we're going to fucking Perkins. It is what it is. All right, no sushi today. All right, it is run time, it is raining, and it's super freaking cold outside. So I'm hitting the treadmill. We have eight miles on the workout. A couple of slower miles started off, warm up miles, and then we're gonna try to rip pretty quick on this one. But yeah, on the treadmill, I haven't done this long of a treadmill workout in a long time. And I am not gonna lie, 
I'm not motivated to go run right now. A lot of people are like, man, how are you so motivated to, you know, work out every day and continue to get after it with workouts? And I've said this a hundred times before, but it is not motivation. You're not gonna find motivation in a freaking drawer or a cupboard or your fridge, or maybe you'll find some on the internet through different motivational videos, but that does not last. That is quick, fast food type motivation. What you need is a goal. What you need is a plan. What you need is a daily routine. And that just makes you do things on a daily basis. Like I knew freaking days ago that on this day, I would be running eight miles. It's not that I'm motivated to go run eight miles today. It's just that that's what's gonna happen. That's just what's on the plan and that's what we have to do. So, and most of the days I love it. I'm not trying to say that you gotta hate what you're doing. I do love training, but sometimes you're not as motivated as other times. But I'm getting some electrolytes in me. I already had like 500, but throughout this run I'm gonna have a little bit more. So I'm probably gonna sweat a decent amount being inside and on the treadmill for eight miles. So I'm just gonna do another 500 for during the run and we're gonna get after it. Listen to some music and whatever. It's gonna be a good one. All right, took a closer look at the plan. So we have a three mile zone two, so below 160 beats per minute and then five miles at a little bit above that, like around 173, kind of like a race pace. So this is what we have. The treadmill, we're not gonna hit the weights today, just a run. And uh, yeah, not a bad, not a bad spot to, to run eight miles. It's actually pretty good temp in here. So I might, I might crank it, crank it down a little bit actually. Yeah, let's crank it to like 60, 67. Let's get it. All right, eight miles done. Finishing off, 171 beats per minute. Took me about an hour. As you can see, I sweat a lot when I run. This is completely soaked. Another reason why I don't like to wear shirts when I run outside, because I'm just gonna sweat through everything. You can see the sweat just beating off of me. My shoes are soaked, my shorts are completely soaked, and my shirt is obviously drenched. Disgusting, but eight miles on a treadmill. Let's go. Eight miles down around an eight minute pace. Started out super easy, like I said, three miles at around a like 8.30ish pace. And then I brought it back a little bit faster than those last five miles around like a 7.15 pace. And then for that last mile, probably like a 6.45, a little bit of like a last mile, fast mile that I like to do on these workouts, especially the speed workouts. But yeah, great workout, no lifting today, done. And uh, yeah, feel great, even though I wasn't motivated. Now I have the motivation. Now I feel good to continue to grind because you just put that little edge in your mind at the end of these workouts of knowing how you feel at the end of pushing yourself hard and it always feels good. So I know tomorrow, the next day, the day after that, this feeling is coming at the end of those hard workouts as well. So if you don't have the motivation, hit a hard workout and I'm telling you, you'll feel better after and that is the motivation to continue. All right, bedtime. It is 8.14, we have a uh, 4.30 van tomorrow. So super early wake up, gonna wake up around like 3.45. And a lot of people ask me like three best, three worst things about being an airline pilot. I think I talked about this in my last vid. This is one of them. It's New Year's Eve, a lot of people are going out right now and I forgot to bid for this day off. Probably would have got it off because I got Christmas off, but I wanted those days off on Christmas. So maybe I would have got it, maybe I wouldn't have. But yeah, I didn't get this day off. So I got called into work and if you're on reserve and it's a holiday, you are probably gonna be working because someone's gonna call in sick and then boom, you get called in. So anyway, it's not that bad. I'm not much of a party or drinker, but on an occasion like this, I definitely wouldn't be out and partying with some friends, but that's all right. Early start tomorrow and then we're done super early too. So I'll be home at like 9 a.m. and have the whole rest of the day. So anyway, got to work out in, time to go to bed, and uh, see you in the morning. All right, good morning. It's 
Bam, it was at 4.30. Early start this morning, but also early finish, go home day. So we have a 5.45 flight out of here, landing around 8.30, and then we're done. Not too bad. If you guys are interested in the shirts I wear, the uniform I wear, these are Cuts pants, the AO pant. We have a AOT from Cuts, and then for the uniform shirt, it is from Flight. Super, super stretchy, good for undershirts. Code Joey M for everything for a discount if you're interested. That is it. Anyway, it's my leg. So, I'm flying this morning. Back to Tampa, I can almost guarantee I'm gonna be shooting the ILS one left. That's pretty much what they use every day. The wind's usually out of the north, but we'll see. We'll see you guys at the plane. Also, yeah, this is one of those layovers, it's like 13 hours, where you pretty much have enough time to get some food, hit a workout, go to sleep, and then you're out. And I don't mind it. I don't mind it if it's the last day and you get out of here early. But I do like a long layover where I can explore a little bit more, hang out with some friends, but not too bad. All right, free flight is done here in Cleveland. One leg, that's the end of the trip, back to Tampa. Nice and rainy and cold in Cleveland again. Woo! Go home day, hopefully a nice smooth flight. Weather well, looks pretty good in Florida. Let's go back to the warm. All right, we are delayed this morning. We pushed back off the gate. We got a lean cam. We couldn't reset it. We had to pull back up and maintenance came on. They tried to reset and they couldn't. And they tried to swap out a part. We don't have a spare, so we might have to plane swap. But until then, I just got some breakfast. It's 7.20 now, so we've been delayed about an hour and a half. We're supposed to be home at 8.30. That's definitely not happening. And, uh, but it is what it is. We might get the new plane here in about, I don't know, 30 minutes to an hour. But I'm gonna have some breakfast. Still can't complain too much. I'm gonna get home still fairly early and have a good day. So keep you guys updated. All right, bagel number one, the farmhouse. Got a ham, egg, cheese, bacon. Looks good. All right, so we've been delayed about five and a half hours. And we got a new plane. It's not broken, and uh, we're finally heading back to Tampa. So, not home as early as planned, but we're still getting home early. And it did just start snowing, so we might have to get de-iced on the way out of here. But warmer temps in Florida, and this is why I live in Florida. But I do like seeing the snow when I'm snowboarding. But other than that, I'd rather be more Florida. Anyway, see you guys in Tampa. All right, that's it, a few hours late, but we are back in Tampa, trip is done. I have one more day on reserve, and uh, yeah, beautiful day here. This is why I live in Florida. If I hadn't said it multiple times, I love the weather here. And time to go home, I think I have a leg day on the plan. So yeah, nice short drive home, see you there. We're back, back at the apartment, and it is the first. I was thinking about taking down the Christmas tree, but I've decided. Christmas tree is not coming down until I hit 100K on YouTube. So if you are watching this, like, subscribe, comment, share. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'm trying to show the ins and outs of pilot layovers, at least for the airline that I work for, and also how to stay healthy and fit on the road training for different races like a half marathon, full marathon, ultra marathons, possibly an Ironman in the future. So looking forward to sharing more and more of that. But yeah, if you have any suggestions on what you wanna see more of, let me know in the comments. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next one.